In this video, we want to demonstrate how to work with workers in 3D. In our videos, Modeling with Workers and Worker Carrying Parts Between Workplaces, we have already shown how you can use workers in plant simulation. Now we are going to use the model which we created in the video 3D Length Oriented Objects. To get started, begin plant simulation and load the model file. Click Load Last Model or click Recent Models and look for the model. First, we add workplaces to the stations. Click the workplace on the tab Resources in the toolbox while holding down the control key. Move the mouse to the position where you want to insert the workplace. Click the left mouse button to insert a workplace below the objects Station, Station 1, Station 3, and Station 4. Next, we add a broker and a worker pool to our model. Double click the station to open its dialog. Change to the tab Importer and select Active to activate the importer. We do the same for Station 1, Station 3, and Station 4. When we run the simulation, we see that the worker is walking unrestricted between the stations, meaning that he is not bound to footpaths, selecting the shortest route between them. Now, we want to add two more stations to our simulation model. To make inserting the objects easier, we switch to planning view on the View ribbon tab. Then, we insert a source, two stations, namely Station 2 and Station 5, and a drain. We add a workplace to both stations and we activate the importer for both. Now, we can switch off Planning View. When we reset and start the simulation, we see that the worker is walking all the way around the conveyor to find his way to Station 2 and Station 5. To visualize the obstacles around which for the worker has to walk, we press the O key on the keyboard. Then. Plant simulation shows a red bounding box around each object. The distance between the material flow object and the bounding box is 0.4 meters. When we look at the workplaces, we see that they show two bounding boxes with a gap in the middle. This ensures that the worker only moves to the middle of the workplace and that the worker first has to leave the workplace before he can change his walking direction towards the next target object. We also see that information flow objects are no obstacles for the worker, as they do not represent physical objects that he has to circumvent. Note that the obstacle of the object line is a rough approximation of the curved line. The line object is high enough to allow the worker to walk under it. The obstacle prevents this though. To allow the worker to walk under the line, we have to insert a footpath. Select footpath on the tab resources in the toolbox. We insert the footpath so that it starts and ends outside of the obstacle of the line. This allows the worker to walk under the line using the footpath. Now
Next, we are going to insert another station directly in front of the footpath. The worker then has to walk around the station. Select the station, click the right mouse button, and select Open in New 3D Window. We delete the graphic of the station. Then we select Cuboid on the Ribbon tab Edit and insert two cuboids with a dimension of one meter for all directions. This station has the bounding box of both cuboids as obstacle. In the simulation model, you can see the worker walking around the station. We open the dialog, Edit 3D Properties of the station. On the tab, Graphics, we can define the obstacle for the worker. The bounding box defines the obstacle as the bounding box around all graphical elements. We select Graphics. Then each individual graphic element of the station is defined as an obstacle for the worker. Now, we see a small gap between the obstacles of the station. This enables the worker to pass through the components of the station. As soon as there is a small gap between two obstacles, the worker can use the path. Next, we want our stations to be located at different heights. To achieve this, we select the objects which we want to move to a higher level by dragging a marquee around them. We hold down the control key and move the objects up with the mouse or with the arrow keys on the keyboard. If you want to use a precise value for the height of the station, open the dialog, edit 3D properties, and enter a value for the Z position. As a consequence, the worker now cannot reach the workplaces which are located at a high of 4 meters. To make the workplaces reachable for the worker, we have to add a staircase. Click the Edit Ribbon tab. We expand the group Insert Shape and select Stairs.